Hello, hi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for taking time to be with us for this afternoon's program. I'm Xiao Hui, a programmer with the visual arts team here at the Esplanade. I've had the pleasure and honor of working with Bob on the exhibition Finding What's Next at the Esplanade Tunnel. So um, just kind of like a broad overview for the program flow for this afternoon. We're going to start off with a sharing by Bob. He's going to talk more about the project that he's spearheaded, the process of putting it together. And then thereafter, we're going to have our esteemed panelists join us as well. And um, the session is going to be moderated by Jean Liu. And then towards the end of the um, program, we're going to have a time for you to field your questions to our panelists and to Bob. So uh, we really do hope that you enjoyed this time together with us. Um, I'm just going to introduce um, Bob. I'm sure many of you are familiar with him. So Bob started as a photojournalist with Lianhe Zaobao. And um, he was there for 10 years, and that's where he you know, honed his craft. He left um, the newspaper in 2011 to start The Fat Farmer, which is a photography and videography business. Well regarded for his portraits of iconic public figures, Bob actively uses his skills to bring social issues to light. Um, his project Memory Blocks was recently presented at the Singapore International Photography Festival in 2020. And you might also be familiar, so this is the exhibition that's currently on Finding What's Next. So without further ado, I'm just going to pass this time on to Bob, and he's going to start off our session. And we hope that you really enjoyed this afternoon with us. Bob, please. The slides. Hello, everyone. Uh, okay, I, I, I will speak in English. Huh? <laughs> As you all know, that I am more familiar and more easy in Mandarin. Okay, let me see how I start the first slides. I'm Bob. Um, I have a son, uh, autistic boy, 14 years old. Uh, his name is Jin Le. This is how, um, how I started to do this project. Um, I, it was a photo shoot with him. I did a portrait of him uh, at home at, back to 2016. That was five years ago. Um, during that time, uh, I was thinking about uh, at the age of 12, when he's, when he's 12, I want, I want to do a project for him so as a milestone. And the, the title of the project is called Same, Same, But Different. <laughs> same, Same, But Different because as... Um, I'm not sure whether you all really uh, know about uh, autism. Uh, they, they might look the same uh, if they're not talking, sitting down, but uh, uh, they look the same as uh, compared to all other neurotypical boys. But they are different. Okay? That's why the autism we call it the invisible disability. At the same time, I'm thinking that I'm, I'm going to do 12 portraits of 12 different kids in the 12 years old uh, uh, in a different spectrum. And maybe uh, nine years later, when they are 21, I do another series, the same, same 12 boy, and then another, another 10 years, 30 years, and I will try to record their life. That's the, that's the initial ideas. It's called the same, same, but different. So uh, I came out with the proposal. I want to talk to Xiao Hui, which is the, from uh, Esplanade, and, and Peggy. And then they say, so what's your intention? Uh, what's the message you want to tell? I went back. And then that was year 2019, that's three years later. Then I talked to, discussed with Hui Hui. What are they, what are they trying to ask me? What do, you, what do they mean by what's the intention or what's the message? I thought it's very clear, right? I want, to, I want to show what's autism. And then I started to talk to different people. I talked to Miss Loy. I talked to Jean uh, and Meilan. Uh, so after that, both of them become the, the core team in this project. Uh, they were sharing with me that, no, what's, the, what's, the, what's your intention? What's the, Jean always asking me, what's your call for action? What's, your, what's the message you want to tell? Are you sure that that's the best way to, to present autism? And of course, Hui Hui, my wife, um, who, who always uh, disagree with all my ideas, argue with me everything, and they say, don't waste the opportunity. <laughs> uh, they say, it's such a good opportunity to have an exhibition exponent if they really accept our, our, our ideas. Um, uh, 
Can we, can we think what is more important to tell? Is it the 12 years old is important? Is it, is it your own milestone to Jin Le reach 12 years old? Is that important? Or is there other, other things? I think Jin have the answer, but she don't want to tell me. So go, go back and think, Bob, go back and think. What's the things that you can do? What's, don't, what's the things that you want to tell in, in, uh, for the public? And then after we discuss, after all the discussion, um, uh, we, we come out with these things called the first name of the project is called What's Next? But that's a question that we always ask. We, all, we always ask our, our, our son, okay, do this, do this, what's next? Okay, then what's next? And even when he was diagnosed with autism, uh, when, when he's three years old, after we, we deny and then we accept, accept the condition, and then what's next? It's always happened with us, right? So, is it early intervention? What is, what is early intervention? And after what? After early intervention, what's next? How, how are I going to enroll him? What's the school to go to? How to go to? There are so many questions about that. So we say, okay, how about we, we call this project called What's Next with a question marks. And then after our discussion, Mei Lan, Hui Hui, Jin and me, they say that, you know, what's next with a, what's next with a question mark is a very passive uh, question. Okay, like, like, like hoping someone to help you, give you the, 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 the solution. How about we change the title, become Finding What's Next? It's a more active search. We go and find the answer, okay? Instead of waiting for people to give you the answer. Ah, <sighs> yeah, this boy. Okay. Yeah, this is a big boy now. Huh? <laughs> yeah, he went to early intervention. He went to uh, failure early intervention. And um, when, we, when we do this, this project, uh, we're going through research, finding people that I can interview. Um, and the first, we come out the idea that post 18 is the main issue. An issue that um, we, we, we both, Hui Hui and me, we never really think of it. Not, of course, we know that he will reach 18 four years later. But but we, every day is so busy, you know. Every day is so busy with taking care of him. Uh, every every small little milestone that, that he reached, that we need to learn how to how to educate him, how to teach him in the daily living skill. So when we come to this eighteen, when we our discussion say eighteen post eighteen, the eighteen cliff. Then I was like, I, that's the first time I heard about this eighteen cliff. Okay, I go and do some research. Okay, okay, I know this. This is important. So I go and start to meeting different people from from a, a chat group. A WeChat group. There's a there's a chat group that uh, I know it's a WhatsApp chat group that is uh, catering for 18 plus family. Of course, ours is not fit 14 yet. So they say this is okay, Bob. I put you into this this group. Meet the parents who is 18 plus. And then I say I want to do this project. I say, yes, there are a few sign up. And then I'm going to show you the first one. The first one is Ivan. Uh, the very first few that I I went to his house. Uh, Ivan, uh, this year is 30, 30 years old, and um, he he's in the high needs. Uh, so with the spectrum, right? We are high needs. We are moderate. We are low, and um, he he graduated from uh, Rainbow School. Um, due to a sensory issue, he, he always hit his head until his vision. Uh, he he he's blind. Currently, he can't see. Uh, it's vision impaired right now, so vision impaired with autism. Uh, the, the mother shared with us, been through a lot of uh, challenge, and then how 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 his journey after he graduated from the Rainbow School, stay at home for 16 years, uh, because there's no at that time still there's no uh, day activity center, DAC to, that can, can can handle him until recently two years ago the SPD they opened up, and then he get the chance to go to DAC but twice a week, okay. So let's, let's, let's look at the, the video. Come,是不是紧张还是什么? 有次每次都是一样 
很难应付啦，老实讲，所以就在家里了。我自己照顾到我自己都不懂我是怎样去照顾他，有什么援助机构去帮他申请，给他的要去的地方不不适合。那时候哈、哦，艾文哈他很 active， 加上我老我先生过世，孩子小，艾文呢很有这样这样的忙我忙张，我觉得自己好像很很辛苦，真的是太累了。我心里只有恨，我没有爱。我的我的恨就是说，为什么会这样？为什么？为什么？就是一个恨来的，就是没有爱。后来慢慢他们长大了，我就可以了解到，其实艾文这样的孩子也是很可怜，他这样的问题也不是他要的，这是命来的。你要慢慢去接受他，慢慢去照顾他，慢慢去。爱他，心里就放下那个恨。The whole project, uh, finding what's next, um, there are twelve individual, different spectrum. Um, I, I, I try to cover different spectrum, eh? and uh, it's supposed to start the whole thing starting with just a very simple project, just a photography project. And after after first visit, second visit, and then I start taking some videos, and it become. Uh, I mean, most of you haven't go to the, see the, the 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 exhibition. The exhibition is eighty four photos, no, ninety six or eighty four something. Eighty four photos, uh, twenty uh, nine, uh, ten videos. Nine trailer, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a big big things, huh? So uh, I mean a lot a lot of work need to get involved, and the twelve individuals uh, I mean we separate into nine different stories, the nine different stories we have um because finding what sticks is the main title, so under this finding what sticks we we realize that I mean if you ask any parents about with uh, autism uh, kids with uh, autistic then the they will always tell you uh, the story about how they get diagnosed and da 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 da. What's the challenge? So say, the, st the story is always the same. If you ask any parents, huh? so when we're doing a project, how are you going to present? We we, we we after we interview, after we take a photograph, trying to find find a point that hey, we, don't always tell the sad story about the the, the journey that you've been through. Let's find a point that we can focus on, for. Ivan, we have finding the peace. So how they, how the mother let go everything and then accept his condition. Then we have motivation. We have okay, so we have peace, motivation, uh, home, uh, and a few more uh, friendship, um, and and another five more later. I will share with you. So when when we go through the shoot, then one of the one of the uh, profile that we I I, I featured is called Amit. Amit. Um, 20, 24? Let me see. Amit is 24, yes. Now, Amit is 24 years old. Uh, graduate, he studied at uh, Rainbow and then studied at uh, Eden School. After he graduated at Eden School, he went through, go to the, the he, he managed to get a job from, uh, from E2C and then now he's working at Edinburgh Garden. When I follow him, uh, from home, the mom told me that actually he can travel by himself. Oh, that's a big thing. I mean, to me, I feel that it's a big thing for for people, uh, autistic teens or uh, yeah, totally young adult that he can he can travel by himself, taking public transport. So I, I went down and then went to his house. I followed him from home, Pandan Garden to Mar Margaret Drive. It's quite a long journey. Um, and uh, the mom told me that he he will always keep a, a distance with a, a female, any female passengers. And then, of course, I'm male. He's okay with me. But he, when I when I took his pictures, if you go if you later go go down and see the exhibition, throughout the whole exhibitions, of course, uh, none of the profiles actually look into the camera because I'm trying to capture the daily life. But for Amit pictures, uh, there are a few pictures that he his eyes actually look into the camera. So when I when I show the pictures to Mei Lan, which is one of our team members, he say, "Hey, but how come you choose the pictures of him looking at the camera?" I say, "Uh." You know, one of the story that uh, one of the story the mom the mom told us is uh, when when he's when he's young uh, he 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 he's learned the skill to take a public transport when he studied in the secondary school uh, in the Eden school, and there's one day he follow 
he say hi to a passenger uh, uh, at the bus stop, and then this girl say, "Go away, stupid!" Because uh, he used to say hi to this girl every day. Then Amis was so angry that he followed this girl to, to go to the go to the bus, go to her bus, and then sit beside her and then smack his her leg. He said, "Amit, not stupid." And the next day, the father followed the uh, Amit to the school and then tell the school say that. He shouldn't take public transport. He's a danger to the society, this and this and that. And because of that, Amit, the school tell the parents, say, from today onwards, Amit are not allowed to go to, to travel by himself. And the mom need to quit the job to follow, to, to, to bring Amit to school. And, and of, of course, it took a while for Amit to overcome the whole things and for his finding, we call it the finding resilient. So how, how he overcome everything. But, but because of that incident, he become very anxious every time. And, and uh, the, the phrase that he always says is, no talking to strangers. No talking to strangers. And then when he's in the bus, he was, his eyes is always looking at, some, looking at somewhere, make sure that no one's sitting beside him. That's why I choose the pictures of him uh, looking to the camera. And this is the video. He just went, he sat next to her, and he just, I mean, not stupid. <gasps> We'll Sorry. <laughs> so every morning he will like, good morning, good morning. She didn't acknowledge him. So but one day she said, go stupid. He was like very angry that why she called him stupid. So he just bit her like that, just like that. And he said, I mean, not stupid. Edible Gardens offer Amit a job. He loved farming. When he come back, he was always very happy. Farming is not rocket science. You know? So it's actually one of the very easy things. Of course, if you break the task down for them, we thought that they could actually really contribute to society and give them a place in employment. So actually, he got so much better after he started earning and he started doing this job. And he's like, every day want to go to work. Whenever the brother or sister sick, right, he will straight away go and take the thermometer. I mean, no sick. I mean, go work. Yeah, he enjoy work. He enjoy work. <laughs> uh, and and throughout the. Uh, the, the, the process of doing this project, uh, I, I met a few that are able to take taking public transport. <laughs> so I told my wife, hey, we should start teaching Jin Le take bus. Uh, <laughs> and and um, yeah, the first two trips was quite okay. But the third trip, he, he was lost because you sent him to the wrong bus. Uh, they're supposed to take 183, one three, uh, one three, then he went up to 188. And then suddenly the whole thing become a hoo ha, become a viral. And then mothership, la, zao bao la, and then all different newspapers asking, hey, can we feature this story? So it's a good thing. So I think everything happened for a reason. I think he, 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 he learned and then he uh, lost his way. And then now, and, and in fact, fortunately, uh, after, after that trip, that day, you know, he, he was lost and then he was quite scared. Uh, the, the, the second time that we, uh, I think a few days later, I would say, hey, Jinna, let's go take bus. Let's go take bus to the bus stop where, where, where you alight. And he said, no, 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 he was quite scared. But I said, Papa, Mama and you, three of us, we take bus together. So three of us, we took the bus, go to the, the, the bus station and then we met the, we, we, we go and meet the, the, the friends Adil and Yanni and then, and then meet the boy and then three of us, uh, we say hi and take our pictures together. And then we told Chinna, see, you can make it, see, you, you can do it, right? Come take the bus here, to the bus here. And then after that, we, we go opposite to the bus and then go back. And, and the bus passed by our house, we go to the shopping mall. He went down, he feel very proud, like, <laughs> see, I can do it. I think as a parent, I think as a parent the support is very important. Of course, uh, when, while we're doing this project, uh, there's always a lot of discussion between a few of us, uh, uh, four of us. And uh, the, the initial idea of doing this project was uh, uh, to, 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 to separate the whole thing, become uh, uh, those 18s are able to uh, get employment or another, another half is uh, stay at home. But then Meilan was sharing with us, say, no, because Milan also have a, 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 a boy with ASD uh, in a different spectrum. And when I say that, we shouldn't separate ability by either you are able to work 
or you are not you are unable to work. And that, that, that's the things that that's the key things that who oh, I I never think of that, because I, like I say spectrum. Every time we talk about ASD, 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 the spectrum it's so easy to to say about these things uh, autism spectrum disorder, but how 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 many of us really 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 have the opportunity to 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 really understand other spectrum? Because every day is so so involved in your own own spectrum, right? Or your own, own range of people that you uh, ASD. Then you, maybe the 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 the, the other ASD that you met is also quite similar to your son or your, your children or your students. Um, like I, I like I'm not a professional. I'm not a researcher on ASD. Uh, uh, that's why I, I'm I know very much about those other ASD who is quite similar to Chinler condition, and I I never really think of the the higher needs or the or the uh, really the exposure. We don't really have much time, uh, opportunity to meet them. But I'm sure that here we have a lot of professional here. We have. Uh, people who work with uh, who was able to work, so we could we E two C, A R C, and then we have uh, and and then uh, actually enable we have a school school to work program, and of course we have uh, Rainbow. Uh, we, we need higher needs. We have someone I um, Yuan Kang work with the uh, micro business. Those who graduate from ASD uh, from from Rainbow Center, they can actually think of those graduate who are not able to go to work, but at home, what kind of things that I can do? Uh, I can create. Some opportunity, of course, the 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 whole the whole project when we do, we actually find out that creating awareness is is it, we, the whole project is not just about creating awareness because creating awareness is so easy, right? You can we can just tell you, hey, everyone today from one to two p.m., everyone log on to Google to search for what is ASD. Then there's creating awareness over there. You can go just go to it, Google and then just type the text and then you can read it, read it and then understand. So it, this project, can, what can we do more? The finding what's next, what's the things that we want to do more. I think we hope, hope that, like especially the the micro business, that that's the uh, the the part that where the two there's one more st uh, stories about the two sisters. Who, uh, one of them gra graduated two years ago, now able to go to uh, day activity center, but the younger sister who is twenty this year, nineteen or twenty this year, uh, uh, didn't get able, didn't manage to get any uh, DAC, and then the the waiting list about four years. So that means the mom still need to take care of the younger sister, who's 20 years old, uh, daily. So what kind of things that we can you can give to the daughter to do at home, and then the younger, the elder daughter, not every day go to DAC. Some most of the day, you know, twice a week will be stay at home. So what kind of things they can do? So they come out, they 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 find opportunity for the girl, the egg carton, doing the egg carton, putting the stickers. It's not about the money. One thousand egg cartons only earn four dollars. The one day they can do up to two thousand to be occupied the whole full day. If some people say, "Wow, only for only eight dollars," the for the mom is like, "Hey, you no, know, there are things there for them to do." And then you can earn some mm, token, some money. That, that, that isn't isn't it good? And I, I'm I'm sure that a lot of um is is there there are a lot of other opportunities. Some some employment, some 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 companies or, or some entrepreneur um, will hope that this project can can inspire. Some of the companies or, or entrepreneurs, the thing that, beside just earning our money, some we are always we can always create opportunity, create something to let someone to do something. You no, know? it's, it's, it's just maybe just water sticking or this or any other things. But of course, I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm not a, a businessman. I'm hopefully can aspire people. So beside these things, uh, come back to here. One of the story that we covered is, is called finding home. Uh, we, we, I went, I went there. Uh, I think last year, Saint Andrew Adult Home, uh, a place that one day my my son Jin uh, will need to go to, uh, because Hui Hui and me we are forty plus, and the, when by the time Jin uh, forty fifty, I'm already sixty seventy. Uh, if if I if I uh, not feeling well, touch it, touch it, touch it. I mean, I will leave early and then who will take care of her? I'll do it him. I think that's the things that we need to plan. So we went down and visit. So the, the first time that I went to visit, and then the second time I bring, I bring Mei Lan and, and, and Hui Hui to join me and say, can we arrange for them to have a look? They are the writer. After the visit, that night, Hui Hui was crying. Uh, it's not because of the facilities only, no. Uh, don't get me wrong. He said, we, we need to stay healthy. We, we, want, to, we want to take care of Jin until we cannot, we, we are unable to take care of him. Because I, I I love him, we love him so much. Then I say, uh, we feel so hard to let him stay in the in the home. Uh, then, oh, of course, when we do the interview, this uh, when we do the interview, we met 
a few, a few of them. The real. Uh, when I when I narrate the whole whole story, we we actually actually we interview three of them. Uh, one is Benedict. Benedict is 20, 20, 26. and then uh, Nereo is thirty two. So we're, we're trying to you, you go down to see the exhibition. Um, the first four, the first few pictures about Benedict, the activity in the center, and then the second set is Nereo. That I want to show that. Parents can anytime can go down to visit the, the child. Okay. Anytime can go and visit the child. And when I when we and, and of course another one is anytime you can go back home, okay? When we interview beside the photos, we also interview the parents. So we, when we interview uh Jesse, the Narelle mom, Jesse telling us that she feels relief that um Narel is now able to stay in a home that is really safe. And she said, in Singapore, there's only two places uh, it's safe to take care of her, her daughter. I said, where? I said, first one is Chang Changi Prison. The second one is IMH. I said, why? She said, said, she told us, Narelle is so good in finding the keys. <laughs> she always can, uh, whenever she, she hides the keys, she can manage to find the keys. Or even they change the different keys, she will manage to open the, the lock and then run out from the house. So it's so it's so as a, as a parent with a special needs child, it, 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 it's a it's a challenge to taking care of someone who always run away. And then what will happen, especially female female ASD, right? So the mom said, but now after two uh, two years ago, uh, then when uh, two and a half years ago, then SAH was set up. Then you say, oh, there's a place that I I, I can feel uh, safe. I know that he she's in the good taking in a good care. And yeah, that's that's the story about uh, Jesse and and Narelle. And another another uh, resident is called Stella. Um, Stella loved to go uh, loved to go home, and then she have this chart. If you read, if I got seven, this is a reward chart. Huh? <laughs> uh, if I got seven smiley face, I can have father to visit me. And when I get fourteen, then I can go home. Uh, I I can go for a home leave. So you can see one, two, three, four, five until the seven because of misbehave. One of the smiley face was deleted. So the next one will be the last chance to get 14. So that means she can go back home at this month. When the day when I went down to visit her to take photograph, she already managed to get 14 smiley face. She know that she can go home. So she start to misbehave. She she don't want to eat the fries. She she the rice like this is spicy. <laughs> she throw away. Then the staff, the care staff say, oh, because you misbehave, you get minus one smiley face. And she was so scared. Oh no no no! She take the broom and then go and clean up. Say no no no! I shouldn't behave like this. Then of course they will let him let her go home because actually it's a re arranged with the parents and with the father. So they say okay okay it's okay don't worry because you done a very nice uh, uh, drawing so we give you back your your smiley face. So yeah yeah I can go. The next day, when when we interview Mr. Chua, you can see that actually Mr. Chua and, and uh, Stella uh, they are very close. Mr. Chua, a single dad, uh, and as a cleaner, then he said, "What to do? Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a man uh, taking care of a uh, 28. She is 28 this year, 28 uh, years old female daughter. I mean, a daughter is is a is a challenge for him." So at least now there's a place that can take, take care of her, the daughter. Uh, what I want to say is, I mean, every every family has their own issue. Everyone has a different challenge. Uh, and um, I, um, one day it will happen to, to both Hui Hui and me. I mean, we need to find a place for my son. Chinda is the only son. So, I and I'm sure that the, the numbers of ASD uh, it's not increasing. It's, it's, it's more the more get <laughs> diagnosis right over the years, and then uh, uh, because because more people know about ASD, so go, go get get diagnosis, and then uh, and since if they are young, of course they will grow up one day, and then autism it won't outgrow, it won't it won't uh, no it won't it won't cure, so they will become adults, they will become old, so we need a place, and we need more more place for them. Um. When, when we do this finding what's next, this project, uh, I was sharing with them that uh, there are three audience, three audience that we are we, we are targeting. Uh, the first one is Hui Hui and me ourselves, doing any project 
but start from myself, start from my heart. <laughs> so we are the one, both of us are the one that need to find the answer. What will happen next when it's 18 or, or above? So doing this project giving me the opportunity to see and meet different people uh, at a different age. So prepare, get things prepared. Uh, of course, Jean asked me, so what's the takeaway about doing this project? Is th what's the things that you, 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 after you, you complete the project? I say that I haven't found the answer, even though I've I done, done everything, but uh, I, I haven't found the, the, the answer for the what will happen next. But I, and I, from doing this project, talking to parents, uh, I, at least I know that I'm in the right track. Uh, right track in, in terms of teaching Jun Le daily living skill, uh, asking him to cut the vegetables for me since young, uh, asking him to hang the clothes, uh, doing all, all, the, all, the, all the housework. Although some, there are reporters uh, interviewed say, so you're teaching him to become an in, uh, independent. I was telling him that, how do you define independent? Uh, daily living skill, yes. But independent, that's different things. Of course, we can, we say we can leave our house, uh, our HDB flat under his name, but do you think that he can handle all the, all the bills or, or income tax? Or <laughs> that's different things. So independence, it depends on your independence for the normal people talking about independence as us as talking about independence is totally different. So the first target audience is Hui Hui and me, ourselves, doing, doing the project and then find, find the answer. So find the what's next. The second what's next, finding what's next, the, the second audience will be the, the parents, parents who have kids, uh, haven't eat, haven't eat uh, 18, younger, or maybe same age as Jin Le, or maybe younger than Jin Le. Um, don't, don't wait until 17 or 18, then start doing the planning. That's, that's what I heard from all, some of the parents who, when we do the interview. They said, uh, no, I only, I only start thinking when he, say, she, he or she is 17, then start to think about what will happen next. Actually, that, that will be very late. So by, hopefully by doing, come and visit the exhibition or the website or, 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 the, the, or the Facebook or whatever things that we already prepared. Start thinking, start planning, and then, and then start, start thinking of what you can do for your child and start, what, start thinking of what we can do for the, for the community. And the third, the third audience, of course, is public. Uh, and all the public. Like I said just now, it's not about awareness. I think awareness has been done for many, many years. Huh? So what can you do? Uh, what can I do next? Um, do, during, uh, if you see the whole, the whole set of photos, they are a part about friendship, uh, how a volunteer, how, how anyone can be a volunteer to help, to become a, 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 a to, come, to help people with special needs. Um, as simple as, when Melan shared, as simple as when we when she bring JY uh, her, her her boy go out and then the neighbor help to hold the leaf say don't it's okay slowly slowly I will hold the leaf that's what that's really a big thing you know and and uh, when the one day I mean Jinla was uh, we Jinla will go running every day at the at the, at the first floor the one day he was shouting he was crying then the neighbor called us our neighbors called us say, hey call Hui 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 Jinla is crying and screaming. But then the next thing that they ask is, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And it's not, what can I do is a big thing, you know? As they, they're, asking, they're asking about what they, what they can do to help Jinla. And, and, not, and not, can you please come now to, to come him now? But they, they are driving, you know, say, so I can drop, stop, can you tell me what can I do? How, how, how can I, how can I come him? That, that's from our neighbours. That's a big thing. So small, small until this, big until any companies, any, any entrepreneur, any artists, any designers, maybe we can design something for the ASD, for, for, the, for our community to hey, create opportunity for them. I think that is a, that is a very big thing. So this is the finding what's next. And to, to conclude my, my, my presentation, I'll give you the last uh, slide, uh, last video. Hold on. I didn't tell about this, it's not a to-do list. It's how as a father, you also enjoy him. Simply because he's my son. They are not useful. They have their own use. Why? Why do you want to let them go through this? They can learn. If you can teach, if you can teach, if you can teach, you can teach. He feels calm. There's a serenity of the classes. Everybody is just quiet and sit down. He actually had the confidence to teach the class. He actually had the confidence to teach the class. He actually had the confidence to teach another friend of him how to recite the Arabic letters. Surely, the confidence has been instilled. Yeah, after all these years, lah. It's not that kind of problem. 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 It's not that kind of problem.
爱他。They don't see themselves being different from others. They see themselves as being normal. If you break the task down for them, they could actually really contribute to the society and give them a place in employment. Focus on their positive, create more awareness until living with them becomes a second nature to everyone. We always hear about this phrase: "It takes a village to raise a child," right? It takes a team to do the whole project. <laughs> uh, I say the whole project started is just a simple photography exhibition, then it, it become a, a video project. So I have uh, Chi Yong to do the editing, and then my team. We have Cyrus, we have uh, Jane, we have Kelvin to do the shoot, and Mei Lan and Jin like that to join us uh, to help to 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 fine tune everything. Jin is our editor. I say that no, you're going the wrong right direction. Not this thing, and of course, um, not to forget all the all the all the sponsors, uh, all the supporters. Esplanade is a place that when I approach them, they really like. Don't know what this guy is going to do. <laughs> until until today, okay, I I think I think I I, I did a, a good result lah. Okay lah. <laughs> and then uh, thank thanks to our our SG SG enabler, and then we use the uh, enabling village to do the interview. And uh, beside that, we have uh, Mediacorp and the enabling fund to do the funding because actually spend a lot of money. Uh, and and all the post sponsors, Canon, uh, AVS, uh, and Prism Plus. If you could see later, you go down and see there are two big screen. Yeah, there's Prism Plus. Okay, so after this, thank you, thank you for uh, that. That's all my my presentation. So um to yeah, yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> so uh the next will be I will I will invite my my friend, a very close friend, um Jean. Jean from Superhero Me and then uh she will be he will be she'll be the host for the panel discussion. So we have um uh, Jean, are you coming? Uh, yeah, so I'll pass the mic to Jean. So Jean can you continue, right? Uh, <laughs> very far. Okay, thank you. Thank you.